students so we are in chapter 17 that is your e-commerce security systems so today we are going to see some of the topics that are under security technologies in e-commerce transactions so in the previous classes we have completed the introduction then the types of e-commerce threats and similarly we have completed the dimensions of e-commerce security okay ma'am so in this class we are going to continue with the topic that is your security technologies in e-commerce transactions okay ma'am so what are the securities that you people are in need while you people are performing the online transaction so here since each and every person are connected by means of internet they are able to send their information whether it is uh, their pin details or their personal details they are going to share that one so what else they are sharing must be more secure and safe okay ma'am so what are the concerns that are providing the are providing or supporting for the online transaction transactions must provide with uh, some securities to the customers those who are using their websites okay ma'am so we can have a uh, we can classify the technologies that is the security technologies as roughly into three so normally we can classify the security technologies roughly into three types okay ma'am so first we can see the first technology it is your encryption technology first type is encryption technology and the second one it is your authentication technology next one it is your authentication technology and the third one you people are going to have it is your authentication protocol okay wow. authentication protocols yes so these are the three classification we are having the first one it is your encryption technology the next one it is your authentication technology and the next one it is your authentication protocols so in this class just we are going to discuss about the encryption technology that is the first one alone we are going to discuss okay ma'am so topic for discussion today is encryption technology Yes, first of all, you people tell, what do you mean by encryption? So, encryption is nothing but it is going to convert the original text into somewhat non-understandable format. That is you the original message the text that is called as your encryption. Okay, well, just for simple example, you people assume you are sending a message A, B, C. Okay, well, this is your original message. Now, by the concept of encryption this abc is going to be converted into x y z then it is after that then it is going to reach the another end as the original text so in between it is converting not in between just when it is leave your computer automatically it, it will be encrypted for you people okay wow. so that is here it is happening this x y z is called as your encrypted text so automatically when it is coming to the receiver end that encrypted text will be decrypted for you decrypted means encrypt on a text original format decrypt so decrypt i receiver end la enna correct sender eppadi anupnaro appadiye vandrum okay va so that is called as your encryption that is called as your in sorry that is called as your yes that is called as your encryption okay ma so this is your sender the sender is text a sender text and this is your receiver text receiver in the text of mine in between in the text another it is your encrypted so, if you encrypt this, you can understand this. If you have hackers in the information, you can understand this. This is the content trick. So, clear with this one. Now, simple example. This is the level that we implement. Okay, so, this is your encryption technology. So, we have a term, subject related to a term. That is the plain text. That is the plain text. 
அதான் இன்புட் இந்த சென்டர் அனுப்புறேன்னு சொன்னோம்ல இந்த மேலே சொல்லியிருக்கேன்ல ஏபிசினு இதுதான் பிளைன் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஓகேவா ஸோ அது ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக நெக்ஸ்ட் ஹேண்டுக்கு இன் பிட்வீனில் அது என்ன தான் மாறப்போகிறதுனா இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி கன்வெர்டட் இன் டு சிப்பர் டெக்ஸ்ட் இதை தான் நான் மேலேருந்து என்ன சொன்னேன் என்கிரிப்டட் டெக்ஸ்ட்டுன்னு சொன்னேன் ஓகேவா ஆஃப்டர் தேட் த சிப்பர் டெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி டீக்ரிப்டட் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி இட் இஸ் அட் தி ரிசீவர் எண்ட் ரிசீவர் எண்ட்லேயும் எப்படி தான் வரும் பிளெயின் டெக்ஸ்ட்டாக தான் வரும் ஓகேவா ஸோ நான் மேலே சொன்னது சிம்பிளாக உனக்கு சொன்னேன் ஸோ ரெண்டாவது ஆஃப்டர் தட் ஐ ஹவ் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் தட் ஒன் வித் த டெக்னிக்கல் டேர்ம்ஸ் இப்போ ஓகேவா த ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இட்ஸ் யோர் பிளைன் டெக்ஸ்ட் அப்போ சென்டர் பிளைன் டெக்ஸ்ட்டாக அனுப்புறது இன் பிட்வீன் என்ன ஆகுது உனக்கு என்கிரிப்ட் ஆகுது ஸோ என்கிரிப்ட் ஆகிற டெக்ஸ்ட்டை நம்ம என்னன்னு சொல்லுவாங்கன்னா சிப்பர் டெக்ஸ்ட்டுன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஆஃப்டர் தட் த சிப்பர் டெக்ஸ்ட் இட்ஸ் கன்வெர்டட் இன் டு எம் பிளைன் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபார் யூ ஓகேவா ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த கான்செப்ட் வாட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ஹேப்பனிங் இன் தி actually happening in the encryption technology sir ipo in between i told you people it is going to be changed into chipper text appo idu eppadi chipper text ah maarum yes for that it is going to have some algorithm based upon that algorithm only the plain text is converted into chipper text then again the chipper text is converted into the plain text okay va this is the way how the information is encrypted for you people okay va clear with this one so in the encryption base panni encryption and decryption are base panni here you people are having two types here you people are having two encryption technologies okay va they are having encryption technologies they are having two okay va Yes, the first one is nothing but it is your symmetry key encryption. The first one it is your symmetry key encryption. And the next one it is nothing but it is your asymmetry key encryption. Okay, wow. so these are the two encryption technologies that are available okay va wow. so clear so pa encryption technology na unak enna nu purinjicha onnu illa center anupra text in between ah the chipper text ah maatranga adu eppadi maatranga based upon some algorithm encryption algorithm they are going to convert the plain text into chipper text okay va wow. then the chipper text is automatically decrypted into plain text at the receiver end okay va wow. so for the encryption purpose we are having two tech technologies the first one it is your symmetry key encryption and the next one it is your asymmetry key encryption so clear with this one yes now we can continue with the encryption technologies that is your symmetry key encryption and the next one it is your asymmetry key adu rendu enna nu paakalam okay va adha first nama enna paaka poporona symmetry key encryption yes here what is the algorithm or what is the method they are going to use is data encryption standard for the purpose of symmetry key encryption we are going to use a method that is called as data encryption encryption standard so shortly it can be sim- return as des okay ma so this method was introduced in the year 1976 and it is in america only it was introduced in america in the year 1976 by which organization means by fips by f so this fips is nothing but it is your federal information processing standard okay ma yes so this is the method so actually what is happening in this des means yes the same thing only that is plain text anupa poporudhu chipper text ah maara poporudhu appo in the algorithm what it is actually going to do here is this des algorithm is going to have 
64 bits des algorithm is going to have 64 bits so in the case of 64 bits what is actually going to use it is going to use only 56 bits and the remaining 8 bits are 8 bits are what is going to happen it is acted it is used as a parity used for the purpose of parity checking and then it is discarded okay va wow. so in des algorithm we are going to totally we are going to have 64 bits okay ma'am adile only 56 bits are used for the purpose of converting the original text into chipper text the eight the remaining eight bits are just used for the purpose of parity checking and they are discarded okay ma'am this is the case with the des algorithm but nowadays they are thinking this dds des algorithm is not safe why it is not safe means it is just going to use only 56 bits alone oru vela chipper text namalukku length romba perusa irukku bit perusa irukna enna panna mudiyadhu it is quite impossible for us to use them use this type okay va adanal da it is not a secure for us so nowadays des is not secure secure or safe what else you people can tell okay va why the reason is here it is just going to use only 56 bits appo length romba perusa irukra key ah irundha enna panna mudiyadhu nammala use panna mudiyadhu okay va clear with the symmetric key encryption so symmetric key encryption method is here they are going to use data encryption standard that is des it, it was introduced in the year 1976 in america by fips that is federal information processing standard okay va so actually what is happening in des means it is going to use 64 bits in that only 56 bits are used and remaining 8 bits are discarded so nowadays this des algorithm is considered to be not more secure why the reason is here just it is going to use only 56 bits if you are going to have the key length to be more or increase means it is quite impossible to use this algorithm so clear with this one yes next we can move on to the next one it is your asymmetric or public key encryption asymmetric or public key encryption so actually here what is going to happen means yes before that we can see this one so here it is going to use an algorithm that is called as your rsa algorithm so rsa we can have the expansion as reversed shamir and the next one is alliman as a whole together it is called as your rsa algorithm okay ma'am so here actually what is going to happen means here they are going to use two pair keys here they are going to have two pair of keys that is your private key and the next one it is your public key so pa enna nadakkengiradha simple ah solligiren so a t irundhu or message pogudhu inga adu chipper text ah maarudhu maaradhukku it is going to use a public key okay va apdiye idu end end ku po varappu podu it is going to reach the b that is here it is your center and this part is your receiver okay va in the end ku varumbodu here what is actually the receiver is going to do is here going to use a private key to decrypt the information so here b is going to decrypt the information just by means of using a private key clear with this one so public key use panni appo b ki enna dhaan theriyum b ki public key um theriyum adu enna private key use panna podu ngiradhum theriyum appo the public key ngiradhu it is known to both the persons ana private key ngiradhu yaarukku mattum dhaan theriyum b that is the receiver ku mattum dhaan theriyum okay va so here in the case of rsa algorithm the simple if people can understand that one very simple here they are going to use two keys one key is the private key 
another one it is your public key the private key is known only to the receiver end but the public key is known to both the end so clear with the concept so today what else we have discussed just a simple topic only that is your encryption technology here we are going to have two key that is your symmetry key encryption and the next one it is your asymmetric or public key encryption so clear with this one so before concluding we can have the glance over the difference that is in your book okay wow well. yes this is your difference between symmetric key encryption and the next one it is your asymmetric key encryption first of all you people see the first point here it is going to have same key but in the case of asymmetric it is going to have different keys okay wow well. and the next second point is speed is very fast but in the case of asymmetric the speed is very slow the next one the third point plain text and chipper text are of same size but in the case of asymmetric key the chipper text is always greater than that of the plain text okay wow well. then the what are the algorithms they are going to use in symmetric is des aes and the next one it is your rc4 similarly in the case of asymmetric it is going to use the algorithm like rsa yes ecc next one dsa okay ma'am and the fourth fifth point it is provides confidentiality similarly here also it is going to have confidentiality authenticity and next one it is your reputation non reputation and the next here the number of keys here we are be using the public key that and all no so similar in this case here the number of keys grow in the power of power that is your exponential but in the case of asymmetry here the usage of keys grows linear for you people exponent na double double mantle agar mari agum but linear na eppadi irukum summa sequential ah or line ah pora pla irukum okay va so these are the six points that you people are having the difference between symmetric key and asymmetric key so clear with the concepts what all we have discussed by today yes students remaining we can continue in the next class yes thank you students